Welcome to my Celestron Skymaster 15 by 70 binoculars review and today I just wanted to show you exactly what these binoculars look like and also share my experiences having used these binoculars for multiple weeks now. So as you can see I've got them in the carrying case that comes available. So it's quite padded which I really really like and it's large enough in order to fit the binoculars comfortably inside. You also get this kind of carrying um, handle which is automatically attached uh, when it comes kind of in the box um, which is just quite, kind of nice if you want to carry them and or kind of sling them over a shoulder. Let's actually have a look at the binoculars themselves. So first I'll just quickly walk you through the spec and then I will get on to what I like about them and then I'll also just walk you through what I've managed to see um, in my observations having used them. So as you can see here they've got some caps over the objective lens ends just to keep uh, those kind of prisms very well protected and the eyepieces also come with this removable eye eyepiece uh, protector as well. As you'll see here there is uh, the ability to put this on a bit of string or something to kind of attach them more permanently to the binoculars if required but when they first come it is kind of loose so bear that in mind it can kind of fall on the floor if you're not careful. So onto the binoculars themselves. So firstly, you can see their general size just in my hands. I don't have uh, the biggest hands in the world, but you will see that they are quite a nice general size. So these offer, as the name suggests, 15 times magnification, and they have a poro prism uh, design. So I don't know if you can see that. I mean, that you won't be able to see anything about the poro prism, but just consider that that's um, part of the optics. They have, so due to these, the, the general size, they have a large 70 millimeter objective lens, and this helps provide brightness in lower light conditions. So I'm recording here in the day, but if, if you're using these or buying these for astronomy purposes, then chances are you are not gonna have much light around you, um, just obviously the light from the sky, and that's very, very important depending on what you will be able to see. So these are, I've mentioned the optics are mold, um, the Poro prism design, but they're also multi-coated and they have back four prisms as well. And that helps to provide some sharp, clear views uh, as well. So just bear that in mind. Not all binoculars will have that uh, included. So these are designed um, primarily for astronomy purposes, but they can also be used for terrestrial viewing as well. So if you like bird watching or kind of watching nature, maybe you want to look out at the ocean, then you can use these binoculars for that as well. I bought them for astronomy purposes, just thought I'd quickly mention that. Um, you've got this kind of protective rubber coating uh, on the bottom here, and that just is really, really nice to help really provide some extra grip. You've got some thumb, thumb kind of holes here as well. And in the center here, you have a large center focus knob, which enables you to focus in on something once you've identified it. Um, these are designed for extended viewing sessions. So um, I just wanted to mention that the bigger um, binoculars out there, perhaps the more expensive ones, um, may require a tripod. And I will touch on the, a tripod, a, a note on that towards the end of this video. So what do I like, what do I like about these? Well, first and foremost, they come so well packed when they're kind of delivered. They're really, really well protected. Um, they, they come in a really secure box and they arrived in pristine condition. They're also perfectly collimated, um, so I could kind of use these right from the outset. Now, some binoculars don't come collimated and you need to adjust them in order to be able to see properly and you won't be able to, it essentially kind of appears blurred. And it's nice not having to do that because that can be a little bit of aggro to, to do. They're very easy to adjust, so you can adjust them like this and you can change the um, focus knob in the middle as well. Um, and also these eye cut pieces kind of extend and you can put them down. So they're really, really good for the kind of eye relief, de depending on whether you wear glasses or not. Now, I personally think they are surprisingly lightweight for their size, uh, but some users do report that a tripod may be needed, especially if you're looking at something over an extended period. Though you could always use a bit of furniture, perhaps a fence or perhaps something, um, you know, you could lay down perhaps or a reclining chair if you did want to observe at length and didn't want to get a tripod. So just bear that in mind. Um, they're very durable um, and they do come with all these extras as well. You know, you've got the, these kind of protective lenses, the carrying case. You also get a cloth to help wipe them and keep them clean as well, which is useful. Um, 
here's probably something I shouldn't mention, but I have actually dropped these on this paving in front of me, uh, and they've they've held up. They've, there's no damage to them at all, both the exterior and to the optic quality. So I was really impressed with that. Obviously, it's not something that uh, I'd like to admit, nor is it something you would like to do, but it is good to know that they're, they're durable in that respect, should that ever happen, especially if it happens on grass, which is probably more likely they should be protected in that instance. I also find that the focus remains constant, uh, and consistent even after adjustments which is very very important as well and of course onto what I've been able to see I feel like I've seen some great star views very in very very deep in much detail as well and I've seen some star clusters in some some really kind of beautiful ways as well now what have I managed to see with them well in semi-light polluted conditions I've observed details of the Orion Nebula the sword the belt of Orion and star clusters as well, which is obviously fantastic. I've detected two bright celestial bodies. I think one of them was Jupiter and its surrounding moons as well, which is obviously fascinating to observe. Some of the stars include Deneb, Murfak and Capella. These all look brilliant under, and, and I can kind of notice that the, the kind of clear colors as well. Um, so yeah, absolutely amazing. And I really feel like the light gathering ability is very, very good. And I also feel like it's a significant upgrade. I've also had, um, binoculars with an objective lens of 50 millimeters in the past and these were considerably better. Um, I also feel like the 4.4 degree field of view does take a little bit of um, getting used to um, for optimal star, star spotting but that will come in time as you start using these. Now just a final note before I finish. Um, for the best experience some of you as I've kind of alluded to will do, do well with the tripod. Um, I am okay not to have one um, but if you do want to look at the, 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 star, uh, the sky I should say for extended periods then it may be something you want to consider okay um, now the other th quick thing I probably will mention is that it does take they do take a little while to get used to um, but as I say they were collimated out of the box and it is just a matter of enjoying the hobby whatever your kind of experience whether you want to use these for astronomy or terrestrial uh, viewing you will get used to them and you'll get more out of them in time uh, not only when to get them out but also what you tend to observe so overall these are a fantastic pair of binoculars i feel like they're really good price for what they are they're very durable they look fantastic as you can see they're very versatile and durable as well so yes overall this is a very positive uh, review of the Celestron Skymaster 15 by 70 binoculars and I would recommend if you're in the market for a new pair of binoculars that you at least consider them.